As incredible as his explanation may sound, let us regard the ancient saying of Heraclitus, who 500 years before Christ said, because it is sometimes so unbelievable, the truth escapes becoming known. The answer to all this and the clue to this cosmic riddle may be found in the ancient book of Genesis. And back there in chapter 6, we are told of a very amazing and bizarre event. The sons of God saw the daughters of men and saw that they were beautiful and they lusted after them. And then we read they married them and sired children from them. For the past 1500 years, most scholars, including evangelical scholars, have interpreted the sons of God as the good sons of Seth, and the daughters of men as the wicked daughters of Cain. They've adopted that interpretation because the other one is so bizarre and outlandish. The ancient interpretation and in my opinion the correct one, is that the sons of God were demonic beings or fallen angels, and that they came down to earth, they lusted after the daughters of men, they married them, and produced this amazing progeny, this hybrid progeny of the Nephilim. And the very word Nephilim does not mean giants. It comes from the root Nephal, fallen ones. The early Christian fathers, in the first four centuries, men like Irenaeus, Tertullian, Ambrose, for 400 years they knew no other interpretation except that the sons of God were 